Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about past life. Yeah. But we're going to do a little parenthesis here. Yes, please. If by any chance the producers or what was it? A24. A24 is watching. Please fix your subtitles. I mean, I'm not doing anything, right? I'm just watching K dramas or anime or Chinese movies. I am available to fix the subtitles, especially the Spanish ones, especially the Spanish ones. So if you need somebody, I'm the guy. We're the guys. We're the guys to fix your subtitles. Closing parentheses. Yeah, we close parentheses. Go ahead with the script, my friend. Um, well, surprise, surprise. I don't have a script for this movie. <laughs> okay. So I just want to talk about this movie and how much it really affected me. Really? Hell, big time. <laughs> okay. But before that, Let's say that nobody has watched this film. Oh, trust me, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have watched it. No, no, no. We don't have, we don't know that. <laughs> okay. By the way, there are great people doing reviews of the film, so we're just talking. Yeah, we're not going to make a big review. We just, especially no script. <laughs> yeah. But this movie has a, an amazing 8.3 on my drama list. Wow. Did you agree with that? Um. Yeah, well, yeah around 8. You never agree. <laughs> it was okay. It was a good movie. All right. Now, question, my friend. Do you shout at the movie theater? Yes, no, and why? <laughs> I saw it on DVD, and you saw it on the movie theater. That's right. Okay. Why? <laughs> I was on a date the day that you told me to go to the movie theater. All right. So, in other words, my sister is more important than my friendship. <laughs> I see your priorities, my friend. <laughs> no, but uh, I'm really glad that I saw it by myself. Oh, wow. You to see? Yeah, my sister. My other sister. You have two sisters. Yeah, she didn't want to come. But I saw it in the movie here, and when the movie ended, no spoilers, no spoilers, yeah. Um, I was very traumatized. Not traumatized. I was very sad because the ending of the film is very very emotional would you agree with me yeah but, yep yeah well, no no let me rephrase that i believe it was very unexpected the ending yes well, i agree with you now going back to our not too many followers and guests <laughs> what, is that? Yeah. what is this movie about in your own words very quick um well is this girl i guess it's a girl and a guy and a, and a kid living in south korea she goes and moves to Canada, and from Canada, years past, she grows up. Now she lives in the, I believe in the, it's in New York, right? When she met him, yeah, it doesn't matter. But yeah, New York, yeah. So it's the era of Facebook, uh, beginning of Facebook and Skype. It was very cool in here in the Skype tone, yeah. <laughs> and she is able to track him down. Yeah, like a good stalker. <laughs> oh, well, in fact, Actually, not a stalker, but um, she is the one that finds him, but he was the one looking for her, right? And, yeah, I don't know, like, you know what, let's stop. They, okay, so they established, they found each other and they established this long distance uh, relationship. In a way, yeah, 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 yeah. So, missing a lot of details. No, 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 <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> we're talking, go ahead, go, go ahead, Mr. Anchor. Okay, now... It's very interesting that she was raising in America, right? So we are going to have a cultural shock or... or yeah, that's very well said. Thank you. And that's one of the scenes that to me was very interesting about the movie because I am always used to see movies, whether they are long distance relationships, they're actually uh, from the States. For example, somebody lives in New York and the other person live in California or correct, not from other countries. Yeah. Unless you're watching 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> and that's a TV show. So it's a lot of drama there, buddy. <laughs> no, but what I'm trying to say is that no no used to see this. And when I saw this idea on the film, like, oh, it's a long distance relationship and suddenly it didn't work out. So I started scratching my head like, oh, what's gonna happen now? And surprise, surprise 
she gets married. She gets married, but not to any other guy. She gets married to somebody that is just like him, but in a male. You know? <laughs> they have the same taste, they have the same goals. So, yeah, why not marry that person? Now, you have to marry somebody opposite to you. <laughs> That's why you're dating my sister. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, yeah, um, she gets married, right? Yeah. And then, what is the most crazy thing is that I don't know about you, but I felt that, the, and at the beginning, I thought that the guy playing the husband was a pretty horrible actor. This is the truth. I'm so sorry. Turns out he's great. Turns out he's great. But the way he portrayed it, I was like, oh, this guy, what the heck? That means he did a great job. He, yeah, whatever. He did. <laughs> what, did you, what say you to that? Oh, again, he did a great job because it felt like, yes, she married this guy, but it didn't feel like a married relationship. It, it felt like, oh, I'm marrying my best friend. And <laughs> through the whole movie, you're going to see that he is just a friend. He is somebody there. You never felt the, the interaction. You never felt like um, the chemistry. The chemistry, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. You never felt it that with her husband. And it's not until the Korean guy actually decides to come visit the U.S. that you see a different side of her. Yes, yes, exactly. It's very cool that, again, mentioning that culture shock or, or different cultures when he's visiting here, there is a scene that they are in the amusement park. Correct. Uh -huh. And I believe it's the cover of the film. I believe we can put it here later. Um, you see that he is sitting down next to her very properly, very like a, in a way, almost like a gentleman. And she is sitting down I don't want to say like a lady. <laughs> um, I guess like a, like we are used to seeing girls sitting down in the States. Oh my God, you're going to get canceled. <laughs> it's okay. We barely have 200 followers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but it's the truth. Yeah, so I get what you're saying. I mean, the guy has been raising up in this culture knowledge or of this style of Confucianism. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the truth. That's the way they are. Over there, they have to respect their elderly, take care of them. While here in the United States, we live in a fast pace. We have to make our goals before we get older. Otherwise, we are um, unworthy to be living in this land. Yeah, right. And that's the portray that I believe you're trying to get with this scene. You know what? So... They don't cancel me? Yes, I'm going to go with that. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> but I guess you're right with the whole thing about him taking care of his parents because that's like one of the main problems because he wants to take care of them. Right, but I guess the main problem is that she's married. <laughs> well, because you're clearly you're not from America, my friend. <laughs> All right. So I guess that it's a very different mindset when it comes to love between Korea and the United States. Yeah, I guess you're right. But going back to the MVP of this movie, is the character that I really hate. <laughs> and it's actually the husband. And I do not want to say, again, he has an 8.3 on my drama list. Um, I did find the movie a little bit slow sometimes. But I guess that a turning point on this movie is when the husband put aside the video game <laughs> and had a conversation with the wife. Yes or no? Yes, I agree with you. Uh, so this is where, well, the MVP of the film. Yeah, yeah, the MVP is the guy. Yeah, that's him. Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, this is where we actually get to see him playing action. I mean, at the beginning of the film, we see the opening scene. That is the three of them in a bar. Because the movie goes back in time, yes. And that scene in the bar, oh my goodness, yeah. When they're having the conversation, and I'm not mad at the husband, I'm mad at the girl and the guy. I forgot her name, Nora. Nora and and the Korean guy. <laughs> you always remember the names of the girls. Yeah, I don't know why. But that conversation in the bar, oh my goodness. And the husband didn't understand. No, that's why if I marry a foreign girl, I need to know the language. 
That's like rule number one. Oh, but he's an American. We don't need to learn and learn. <laughs> no, but honestly, I really like this character. I mean, all of them were great, but it's not until we actually start to go in to the ending of the film, the climax, uh -huh, is that, again, very unexpected ending. What were you, you were expecting something else? Yes. Uh, without spoilers, I was expecting that guy goes and that scene, and, you know. <laughs> what about you? I was not expecting that ending at all. Although, I have to say, in a way, I was kind of like feel, feeling it. Like, okay, this is probably the ending, but I'm very confused. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree, I agree. And again, it, and sometimes you marry somebody with the same goals and ideas, and it feels like the relationship was boring, but that's the way they were. They, they were concentrating on their careers, and yeah, I'll marry you. I'm gonna get the B sack, baby. <laughs> What, what, what is it? The K9? The, I believe it's the K9 visa. I'm not sure. Okay. In other situations, and this is what happened to me after I saw the movie, is that I kind of stopped thinking about maybe it's destiny or, or love, finding their way back to that person that you love. And well, some people cannot let go of some relationships. Hmm. Hmm. This is what I guess happens to both of them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not until the ending that we actually get to see that one of them move on and the other one didn't move on. Well said. Yeah. You should spoil the ending. I, I, I haven't say who. <laughs> I hadn't say if she get divorced or stay with the guy, the MVP, the MVP. <laughs> Good movie. What else did you like about the film? I guess the acting was amazing. There is a scene also um, when the guy, the husband asked the Korean guy about the military draft and I don't know if the Korean guy was actually answering from the heart, like his personal experience, like, no, I didn't like it, being in the military. <laughs> I kind of forgot that scene. Oh, it's just one of those things that happens. You were in the army, right? Yeah. Did you like it? Eh, 50-50. Yeah, thank you for your service. Thank you. You never said that to me. So it was the first time. <laughs> okay. So, I guess that's it. Yeah. Um. We want to tell them also about Flames of Desire. Flames of Desire, yeah, all right. So we were going, we were watching Flames of Desire, the K-drama, and we realized there is a Turkish version. So we're going to compare it, but how many episodes? 57 episodes. So and it's like a two-hour episode. <laughs> it's crazy long. So, so we, yeah, we're going to take our time. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Why not? Bye. Bye.